Hey guys, if you're looking to get yourself in uh, the software development industry, make sure you check out Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. The link is in the description tab below. They're focused on all the latest web development technologies that you're going to need, like Node.js, a lot of the client-side frameworks, uh, GitHub repositories, things like that. So they're going to teach you all the skills you need to know to get your foot in the door. Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm talking about the new Crystal programming language. So this is a language that is heavily inspired by the Ruby syntax, and it's actually faster than C in many cases, or, or just as fast. So as with all new things, you guys are probably like, well, why the hell should I learn this over top of all the other things that are coming out? And that's what this video aims to do is just kind of talk about the highlights and the features of this language and why it exists. So where Crystal is trying to compete, number one, is going to be um, with things like Node.js, um, using JavaScript, uh, languages like Elixir, Rust, Ruby, Python, um, Go. That's really the avenue that it's trying to exist in. It's not really trying to replace Java or C Sharp or .NET or anything like that. Um, it's not meant to be really for Android development or game development, um, although you probably could, but not anytime soon. So Crystal itself is a statically compiled language. So it's statically typed and compiled, meaning that it's not dynamically interpreted like Python. So naturally it's going to be fast. It's going to compete with C, C++, and Rust, um, probably Golang as well. Um, in fact, it would probably be a lot faster than Golang, but it definitely competes with C, C++, and Rust. Another thing that is uh, really awesome about Crystal, if you've ever done .NET development like C Sharp or Java, you know that you have to do null checks all over the place and that null checks always bite you. It doesn't matter how senior, senior you are, there's always a goddamn null check that you miss and it goes in um, to production as a bug. Um, so th with Crystal though, it actually will not compile, it will not let you. Anything that can be null, any not object that can be null, it, will, it simply won't allow you to do something uh, that could end up throwing an exception because it's null. So like Ruby gems or packages, things like that, Crystal has something called shards, which is um, projects can consist of a bunch of shards, um, which are really just projects, separate projects that are all um, you know tied together. Crystal also has a full-scale working uh, web framework that is uh, it's a, it's still in progress right now, but it is a um, a very fast web framework that has a lot of inspiration once again from Ruby on Rails. Now, the downside is, is that Crystal has no working support on Windows whatsoever. Now, if you have VirtualBox, you can use that as a virtual machine, but you might run into some problems because that never seems to be like a one-to-one -one comparison, it seems like. So, unfortunately, for the 43% of all developers out there that are Windows developers, you're going to be kind of fucked right now with, uh, with Crystal. However, that said, if you're on Ubuntu, uh, watch this next clip on how to get Crystal installed. And we're going to want to use Curl. And just make sure you use, uh, and then let's go ahead and uh, link out to the repository that we need. So you probably just want to, you know, pause the video as I'm typing this so you can type the exact same thing. So we probably have to use the sudo command on top of that. All right. So you need to prepend this with the sudo. All right, now that we've done that. So now that we've added this manually, we just need to do a sudo app get update. And now you can see it's actually finding the crystal language. So if you get this message here, what we need to do is we need to add this public key. So what we want to do is say uh, sudo apt key advanced key server key server dot ubuntu dot com receive keys and then this is where we need to put the public key of where we see that so uh, 09617 FD 37 CC 06 B54 so now you see if we open up a command prompt or a terminal and we type crystal you should have a bunch of information about 
uh, crystal here. So if you want to see the version number that you're messing with, you can do hyphen hyphen. Uh, you have to actually say version, unfortunately. Uh, but there you go. So you can see version dot two six dot one. So another another even easier way of getting started with Crystal is actually use this built-in Crystal Playground. So you don't even have to install anything. You can just go right into a browser and start actually running Crystal code. So from here, like um, if you just want to do a hello world, if you want to be boring about it, you can say uh, hello your mom. And then you just compile and run. You can actually get the results right there. This is actually the way I recommend it. You know, fuck having to go down and like, you know, go into a tutorial and downloading a bunch of stuff and like trying to figure out what other people's in environments are and all that crap. Just uh, if you're trying to learn, go to this website. Um, and then here there's going to be all the syntax and everything you need. Everything you need is right in here. Uh, if you're just getting started programming, Crystal is not the first programming language you should learn uh, by any means. Uh, at all definitely stick with like javascript or python or something like that if you're just getting started and then um if, if you're more of an experienced systems level programmer type then then crystal is for you probably and uh, as far as web development i mean if you're a noob don't try to be too cutting edge because too cutting edge it just simply doesn't work very well so really the only downside is the fact that it doesn't work for uh, for windows it's very new um, there's not gonna be a whole lot of code out there written for you it is gaining popularity quickly, so if, if you're looking to get on one of the next popular languages that could be a top 20 in like a year or two, then I, I think Crystal probably will be there. Uh, but we'll see what happens, because Ruby's needed a successor, a faster successor for, uh, for quite some time, and I think this is it.